Some come for the pizza, or the pasta, or the salad dressing. Others come for a function or dinner with friends. But everybody who comes to La Cantina Italiana in Framingham leaves feeling like they're part of the family, the Mencaboni family. 70 years ago, before La Cantina evolved into this big 300-seat Italian restaurant, it started out as a small neighborhood market run by Leo and Fanny Mencaboni, as their son and current owner, Leo. Mencaboni explains. Every corner of this neighborhood, which was known as Tripoli, you know, had a little market. My mother would be cooking in the back for supper because they'd work, you know, 15, 16 hours a day. The people would come in and, oh, it smells good. What is that? And my mother's sauce. Well, my father, you know, bing, the light went off. He starts thinking, well, maybe this is a good way to go. So the market was transformed into a restaurant, which at the time was named the Spaghetti House, at least temporarily. A salesman who came in one day and my father was going to continue to call it the Spaghetti House. And the salesman said, oh, you, you can't uh, call it the Spaghetti spaghetti house. He says, you need something that sings. And he said, like, La Cantina. And nah, honestly, that's how, it, that's how it came about. Fast forward several decades later, and La Cantina Italiana is still packing them in every night for hearty, home-style Italian food that fills you up and just makes you feel good. Traditional hand-rolled meatballs, garlic bread smothered in melted mozzarella, indulgent fettuccine carbonara blending butter, eggs, bacon, and peas, and fluffy jumbo-sized fried ravioli that are crispy around the edges, stuffed with creamy ricotta, and served to the side of their famous marinara sauce for dipping. It's the kind of food Jennifer Mencaboni grew up eating, cooking, and serving, so she's happy to keep the family tradition alive. I would describe La Cantina as, um, you know, one of the only family restaurants in the area. Great Italian. You can get everything from a, a great steak to a great pizza, and we have a little bit of seafood, too. Like the slow-cooked seafood risotto with sautéed shrimp, calamari, and clams, or the shrimp scampi served with plenty of garlic and pasta. So shrimp scampi is just lemon and butter sauce, a little bit of onion, seasonings. We dredge the, the shrimp in a little bit of flour, so the coating sticks. It's over a heaping pile of linguine. And I always say to you, well, you're not going to leave hungry. Yeah, the portions are certainly nothing to complain about here. Check out the antipasti, which practically tips the table with mounds of assorted Italian cold cuts, vegetables, and cheeses. And then there's the beautifully plated caprese melanzana, layering grilled eggplant with fresh mozzarella, tomato, and basil. But the biggest seller for big eaters is La Cantina's legendary chicken parmigiana. Our chicken parm is amazing. It's a huge portion. The majority of people that walk through the door are getting chicken parm. Chicken parm or veal parm. It's just, you know, a thin cutlet. It's fried, then, you know, our homemade sauce, cheese, and then, you know, whatever side from pasta to potato and vegetable, and then, of course, you get salad with it, too. And it's not just any salad. The sweet, tangy dressing here is one of the restaurant's biggest attractions. It's so popular, in fact, these days you can find Fanny's salad dressing sold at supermarkets, but it began right here. Well, the salad dressing came about. My mother would be cooking in the back. She made her own salad dressing that was taught to her by her mother. It naturally became part of the restaurant because it was the only salad dressing we knew. Fanny is my mother. She was a beautiful lady inside and out. She was a wonderful cook and it's kind of my way of honoring her. It's a great product. People love it. Customers also love La Cantina's famous pizza as well, whether they're getting it for takeout or to slice and serve right at the table. It's a square pizza and it's eight slices. It's not really thin, but it's, it's really good. People love it. We sell a ton of pizza. But what they're really selling here is tradition. Even though the building has been completely remodeled with a brand new function room and updated dining room, old photographs of the Mencaboni family still cover the walls, and their family values remain the same as they've always been. This business is like a three-legged stool. You have to have quality, a value, and consistency. If either one of those items is missing, that's going to topple the stool. We've been here for 70 years. These are my my relatives up on the wall. These people are our friends who've been coming for 30 or 40 years. We are what we are, you know. I tell you the truth, I've never worked a day in my life because I love what I do. Uh -huh.